Welcome back to Yacht News, where you can enjoy the most spectacular and up-to-date Yacht News. Today, we're going to unveil the Earth 300, which will not only be the most futuristic superyacht, but also the largest superyacht, and by far the most important of all, the main goal of the superyacht will be to ring the climate alarm on a global scale. Make sure to watch the whole video, we've saved the most intriguing details of the Earth 300 for the end of the video. Before we begin, like and subscribe so that we can welcome you aboard, do give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and turn on the bell icon to receive notifications about upcoming videos. Today, we are going to discover Earth 300, the world's most futuristic superyacht with a mission. Let's discover everything about this magnificent superyacht. A few decades ago, climate change was mainly linked to cutting down forests. Then it came to industrial emission and burning of fossil fuels for energy. As we speak, nearly every aspect of human life contributes to climate crisis. So, what is the solution to such a huge problem? Well, we have found one organization that possibly has the solution to the oceanographic problems. Have you heard about the Earth 300 before? The name Earth 300 comes from the organization that is designed and plans to build the 300 meters or 980 feet long superyacht. Earth 300 is a superyacht that if developed, promises not to just be the larger superyacht of the future, but also to be an inspiration for scientific research and awareness of climate distribution. Her science sphere is similar in shape as the Earth and intends to respond to the emerging issues of the current world such as climate change, pollution, overpopulation, ocean acidification, sea level rise, ice melting and much, much more. Do you believe in the Earth 300 project? In order to support interdisciplinary study on challenges related to climate change, oceanography and sustainability, the organization plans to bring together experts from different sectors. In addition, the goal of the Mega Yacht's unique design is to draw attention to the changing weather and oceanic patterns. In order to get the required technology on board of the superyacht, Earth 300 has brought together professionals from various backgrounds and partnered with businesses. Intended to be unveiled in the public in 2025, the Earth 300 Superyacht is the concept of the Singaporean environmental preservation enthusiast and entrepreneur Aaron Oliveira. Oliveira played a key role in the completion and launch of the world's first mega yacht catamaran designed by Porsche, the renowned 41 meters RFF135, by helping to secure the funding needed with a hospitality package that is part of a timesharing program designed to lessen the ecological impact of the community of ultra high network worth individuals. Did you already know how the idea of the project Earth 300 came to fruition? Come and let's discover it together. While building an ultra-luxury resort in the Maldives in 2015, Oliveira went scuba diving and saw firsthand the ruin and devastation that human activity is causing to the ecosystem. Upon realizing that our beautiful and vulnerable planet upon which we depend must be the greatest of pleasures, he founded Earth 300, a project that blends environmental education with technology, art, adventure, and exploration. Along with the founding of the company, he came up with the idea of building the superyacht Earth 300. Oliveira, who is currently the CEO of Earth 300, anticipates that the yacht would house researchers in the domains of marine, earth, and climate science, as well as specialists in other disciplines including economics, art, and engineering. According to Oliveira, the studies carried out on Earth 300 will be open source and shared in real time with the rest of the scientific world. Oliveira also says that the objective of the Earth 300 superyacht is, quote, to build the Olympic torch of global science, a vessel whose design will capture people's attention, but also their heart and imaginations and focus them on the problem of climate change, end quote. The Earth 300 organization's website reads as such, Quote, to expand our knowledge and understanding of the universe, both above and below the ocean's surface, the result is a collaborative, next-generation platform for state-of-the-art science at sea. Earth 300 represents an unparalleled opportunity for academia and private enterprise to collaborate on the most pressing challenges of our time. We're bringing 160 of our brightest minds into our science sphere and equipping them with a level of technology never before seen on an ocean-going vessel. We believe scientists should be treated like rock stars because they are the ones who are at the front lines of all discovery and advancement, they invent vaccines and protect our health, they allow us to move humanity forward. 
end quote. Now, that's some serious talk. I'm sure the Earth 300 will have a great impact on the world in some way or another. Now, let's discover more about the design of this jaw-dropping superyacht. The superyacht will be 300 meters long by 60 meters high and featuring a helipad and observation deck. There will also be 22 onboard laboratories. The laboratories on board are housed in a 13-story tall tower called the Science Sphere, which takes its form from the Earth. Designed by Ivan Salas Jefferson, Earth 300 intends to accommodate over 400 people, of which 160 people will be scientists and 165 people will be crew members. There will be 10 luxurious rooms for VIP travelers, as well as 10 more for those who can't ordinarily afford the trip, but whose knowledge or experience will be helpful. And if you thought the Earth 300 mega yacht is like a normal motor yacht, you're wrong because this mega yacht will eventually be propelled by a green technology with zero carbon emissions. The proposed design calls for the use of a molten salt reactor, a type of nuclear fission reactor that runs at pressures close to atmospheric pressure as opposed to the high pressure of water-cooled reactors. The Earth 300 will be the first yacht to employ this kind of reactor. The designers are looking for a propulsion system based on green fuels to use in the meantime because approval for the reactor would take between 5 and 7 years. Let's continue from the design to media attention. The Earth 300 has received so far some serious attention from a number of news outlets. Interesting is the fact that media outlets like Bloomberg News, Forbes, and BBC Science Focus have all covered the initiative. The possibility the Earth 300 will close knowledge gaps in humankind's understanding of the oceans was deemed exciting by Simon Redfern, head of the College of Science at Nanyang Technological University. The initiative is supported by Martin Yates, a CTO at Dell Technologies, who hopes that the ship will be outfitted with the most cutting-edge computing technologies and function like a space station on Earth. The project was described as overhyped by Dawn Stover in a piece that she wrote for the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. By now, you are probably wondering how the whole Earth 300 superyacht project will be funded. Come and let's discover who is going to pay for such a superyacht. Earth 300 is considering working with shipyards in Europe or South Korea and believes the construction will cost $700 million. The superyacht is scheduled to be delivered in 2025. As you might have already guessed, it can be almost impossible to finance a project of this scale. Fortunately, companies such as Ides Yachts, NED, Triton Submarines, and the Italian Shipping Corporation RINA are among Earth 300's partners. Furthermore, there are various companies who give their support to the project for marketing purposes. For example, the Earth 300 will include the first commercial ocean-going quantum computer. This high-performance computing program has gained support from the technology company IBM. And last but not least, the modernist architecture is meant to draw eco-tourists who would finance the expeditions, making it possible for scientists and students to travel for free. According to reports, VIP passengers on Earth 300 would spend about $1 million to board, with 80% of the proceedings going towards the scientific advancements made at sea. Let's finish with some important words from Oliveira. Quote, We are living at a pivotal moment in human history, facing the greatest challenge since the dawn of man, climate change. So, our goal is to ring the climate alarm bell on a global scale and inspire an era of ecological imagination, spawning a new brand of planetary vanguard, ethical leaders who will support a new economic and ecological vision for the world. We want to build a global icon for science, designed as scientific sculpture on the seas, to capture people's attention and inspire their imagination." End quote. So that will be it for today's video. What's your opinion about the Earth 300, the world's most futuristic superyacht with a mission? Let us know down in the comment section below. Also, let us know your favorite aspect of the upcoming Earth 300. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Give us a big thumbs up if you have, and join our channel by subscribing so that we can welcome you aboard for more exciting content. On your screen, select one of these videos, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.